Hey HC Kids, my name is Tom and welcome to today's Daily Drop. Uh, today we are looking at the uh, book of Proverbs and that's Proverbs 17.9. And Proverbs 17.9 says that uh, love prospers when a fault is forgiven, uh, but dwelling on it separates close friends. All right, so uh, we're talking about friends today. We're not talking about family. Family would be our brothers, our sisters, half brothers, half sisters. Uh, those are people that are with us in our lives, uh, no matter what. We're living with them, or we're living with them, uh, you know, a couple times a week or a month or whatever the case may be, um, and, and they don't go away. Right? Uh, we might get in arguments with our, our brothers or sisters, but they're still going to be our brothers or sisters at the end of the day. We're talking about friends. Somebody that says, "Hey, I want to be your friend because you make me laugh, or because you and I are in the same." dance class or on the same baseball team or whatever these are people that choose us that we choose them and we want to be their friend but when we have a disagreement with a friend um, we just have to be careful how we handle that uh, typically when we have a disagreement we kind of want to win right if you ever have an argument with your brother or sister you want to win or if you have a argument with your friend you want to win you want to prove them wrong because maybe they are wrong right uh, but Having an argument is, is not like a, a sport. Uh, like if you're playing soccer, your goal in soccer is to score more goals than the other team, so you win. Uh, your goal if you're uh, doing dance is to learn your dance and get better and better and better. So when it comes time for the recital, you do well. Uh, same with an instrument. You want to get better and better and better, do well at the recital. Uh, you want to win. Uh, arguing with our friends is not about winning. It's, uh, it's, it's never about winning. It's that winning is never more important than the actual relationship that we have with that friend. Um, and, and so that, won't, that goes kind of against what we normally do in our day. Gosh, even, even in school, we study uh, for because we want to get a good grade on the test. I mean, we, we want to win. So thinking that, that we have to uh, not win, it, it could be kind of hard for us sometimes. Uh, so, uh, but God wants us to have friends in our life. God, God, God wants us to have relationships in our life, and we're not going to have those relationships if all we do is, is spend our time proving people wrong, right? Uh, think about if it happened to you, if you had a, a, a friend that, um, you know, just really wanted to keep on putting you down and putting you down and putting you down, that wouldn't be very much of a friend, would it? Um, so uh, our, our goal is to have friends. Uh, so what, what if, um, what if we, we did that? What if we, let's just say our, our friend uh, told us that it was uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon um, and when it was only 1 o'clock. Uh, and we're thinking maybe it's, uh, it's, it's a recess or maybe school is almost over. Or if you go to school at home, maybe your lessons are almost over. And, uh, uh, and you think, I don't think it's that late in the day. I think it's earlier in the day. And you go through and you find out, well, they were actually wrong. It was actually the wrong time. You showed them that they were, they were wrong. Uh, maybe looking at your watch or a clock. Um, what if instead of just letting it go, what if we kept on with that? You know, gosh, you remember what you did? Remember that? Remember when you thought it was the wrong time earlier today or the next day? You know, would you remember yesterday when you actually thought it was two o'clock when it was actually one? Man, was that ridiculous. How would that friend feel? Would that friend still want to be your friend or would they really want to choose other people to hang out with? They would choose other people to hang out with. So, um, really, really important that we treat other, treat our friends um, with respect, with respect. So uh, the last thing I want to leave for you guys is that uh, King Solomon actually uh, wrote the book of Proverbs. And uh, uh, King Solomon, the Bible tells us, is a very, very, very smart guy. He was very, very successful and smart. But the Bible also points out that he was not perfect. He did things that were not right. He was not a perfect man. Um, uh, so when I look at uh, Proverbs 17.9, I think of a very, very, very smart guy who wasn't perfect, but a very smart guy that's trying to tell us, hey, forgive your friends or risk losing them. That's Proverbs 17.9. Love prospers when a fault is forgiven, but dwelling on it separates close friends. Hope you guys found this helpful today. Uh, if you did, feel free to like it for us, or even better, share it so other people could see it too. And we hope you tune in next time. Bye, guys.